It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. The global stock markets rallied this week, even as the yield curve between the U.S. two-year and 10-year bond inverted briefly for the third time in just one week. You've probably heard a lot about the looming market recession that market watchers have been trumpeting over the last two weeks. With the amount of news coverage and based on conversations with our clients and prospective clients, is it possible that there's anyone left in the country that doesn't know the yield curve inverts prior to recession? It's a well-known leading indicator, or at least if it wasn't, it certainly appears to be now. What may not be well-known is that in order for an inverted yield curve to signal an upcoming recession, it has to stay inverted, not like the past week where the inversions were very brief. And once it stays inverted, a recession doesn't happen tomorrow. On average, there's been a 17-month lag between the inversion and the last five recessions. And over that 17 months, stocks have generated a very positive return. Now, back in February of 2006, the yield curve inverted about 22 months before our last recession. The S&P 500 rose another 23% after the 2006 inversion. Again, you would only miss if you follow the news media for investment advice and panic on the first sign of an inversion. Now, recession worries are a concern, but based on recent economic news, these concerns appear to be overblown. Recession occurs when there are two or more consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. According to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, consumer spending makes up 68% of the economic activities in the U.S. That 68% of GDP comes from consumer spending, and the consumer appears to be very healthy. Shares of merchandise retailer Target surged 20% on the week, and shares of home improvement retailer Lowe's surged 10% in price as both companies posted better-than-expected quarterly results. And perhaps even more important, both offered guidance for its full-year earnings that was well above analyst expectations. Now, in the previous week, Walmart also reported strong quarterly earnings. Now, the reports of these companies are the latest in a string of data points that suggest the American consumer remains in a very strong position. I guess no one told them the yield curve just briefly inverted. And based on the surge in retail sales, I don't think they really care. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals? Do I have a portfolio built that's appropriate to my family's needs? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply text or call 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.